everybody, welcome back to another episode of Paris FC. My name's Jordan Hall 9. Hope you lot are doing well in this December time. Now we're going to move on straight to business. Last episode, we've got a brand new centre back partner of William Zanibre who is actually performing really decent for me. Yeah, that something can be a bit of a hiccup, but still, we advance first place. In today's episode, we've got Ajax in the round of 16. And as well as that, in the league, we are undefeated. So we could be the only undefeated side in league uh, or entire French football in that case. So that's going to be a huge achievement. That's if though, because looking at the squad, there was a few hiccups here and there. But hopefully those hiccups don't cause me to lose the league, to be fair. Or, not, or let alone lose in the league. In the Champions League though, that's the main priority. It's January and we do have £7 million. But we can't really, unless I sell someone... We can't really get a player for the first team, if you know what I mean. So, if you may be questioning why am I getting this striker. Well, next season, if I don't win the Champions League, well, I'm going to revert to having two strikers up top. So, we're getting this Grand Prix contract. The Swiss striker for Monaco, Briel Imbolo. And, yeah, that's the only thing I really did, just get him on pre-contract. That's, like I said, next season, if I don't succeed Champions League, then... I will probably revert to having two strikers up top. So let's get on with the match highlights and see how we get on today. So our first opponent is against my former side. I may have said that a couple of times now. Clum up foot. Well, last time I faced them, we got our biggest ever win. Or so far, my biggest ever win on FIFA. 9-0 victory. So, well, I kind of hope for this today. But I also really just put my emotions aside. Just get the win out of the way. And hopefully, we can through to a good start. Like I said, we are undefeated in this league. Get to start things off well. 15 minutes in, we're on a usual counter-attack. As Ethan plays a lovely ball into Kone. Kone's got the pace and more than anyone else. The shot, well, it's a typical Kone goal. The outmans to outpace the defenders, making it 1-0 to the boys in blue. But then this happened. It was stupid. And I don't care if this referee's a woman. She's a bitch. Because literally, Solit barely touched the guy, and he didn't even go down, points to a penalty and a red card. Absolute horrific decision by this referee. I don't care if it's gender, it's a bitch move. But following the ball on the spot, Simon saved the penalty. Oh gosh, we're able to beat Clum up foot, thanks to the help of our goalkeeper Simon. On to a more tougher opponent, Olympic Leon. And it's a headed triage, I must say, as Raphael was able to get header on that ball. It's a lovely cross by Simon, by the way, making it 1-0 to Paris FC. And Kone wanted to get on the fun with header in, because the corner went near post, and Kone was able to put it past the goalkeeper, past Pickford. 2-0, lovely jovely. So I thought, because in two minutes added on, in the fifth minute of added on time, Leon were able to get an get one back making it 2-1 and following that up my defender took the worst touch possible resorted in them um, getting an equalizer 2-2 screwing up leads we can't be doing this boys what's going on so round of 16 the Champions League against Ajax at John Corey Stadium it ended 2-2 so we took him at our stadium and well you see a lot of space for Dite I went for a pass but it decided to go in the back of the net I tried to pass the siren, but heck, the ball went in. The goalkeeper didn't know what to expect that shot, and we got a 3-2 league so far. Last time we faced them, we scored a late winner to get into, to advance in the Europa League. Well, there's going to be no late finish today. Okay, maybe one, because we got them on the counter-attack. Plays it across, two substitutes, and offers Jacobs scores the winner, or just secures us the win. And we are going to be going further than we've ever done before in the Champions League as we advance to the quarterfinals. And with that win, that brought a whole leash of confidence because Monaco over here had no chance. In the second half, we absolutely battered them 3-0, sending them home to the cleaners. Moving on, we've got Nice in our next game right here. All jokes aside, plays it across. 1-2, Kone, well... It's literally, it's his bread and butter, or as I used to say, cheese if I get, making it 1 0 to the boys in blue at home. And so uh, I kind of really fucked up right there as my defender passed it to their striker. And well, 
Yeah. 1-1. One, one. I do not know what my defender was thinking passing to him, to be fair. Or what was going through my head when I was passing to him. I'm hungry! I'm cold! I'm itchy! Pussy! Uh, it doesn't matter either way, because it's usual business. We over the top through ball. Cody's pace is too much for everyone. Securing us a win. It's better than a loss and better than a point because we're getting more closer to that Liga trophy. Quarterfinals of the Champions League and this is a very special opponent. Marseille, the only French team to win the Champions League. And we were 2-1 up. But following on from that, Kone makes it 3-1 up. As I said, this is the only French side to win the Champions League and we've got them in the quarterfinals. Making it 3-1 on aggregate and boy oh boy the goals just kept on coming. Because Marseille's defence could not deal with our counter-attacks. As Raphael decided to be unselfish, plays it across to Diete or to make it 4-1. Diete, Dibate, I've, I've fucked that up I've so many times, I do apologise. But Kone's not apologising for the next goal as we just kept on piling goals. Following up, and then a familiar face progressed us into the semi-finals. Yep, it's Petit with an out-of-the-shot, out-of-the-box shot. To make it, what, 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 how many, five, six, one, I've lost count to be fair, but either way we're going to that semi-finals. So the biggest threat to our undefeated streak is PSG at their grounds, one over the top through ball, Kone, the usual business as he chips Donnarumma, sent him to the shadow realm as we make it 1-0. In second place, PSG could not contain the pace of Kone to make it 1-0. And Kone was just hungry for goals. As you can see right here, effort after effort did not go in. But the rebound shot did to make it 2-0. And this is more like a redemption story because Kone was annoyed that he didn't get his goal. So he got a third. 3-0. Three goals past PSG, but I was not done there, folks. Because the fourth and the most embarrassing goal PSG conceded. The chip, Dolaruma did not expect it. Rebound off the post and off the back of his head in the goal. Four goals past PSG. This is sweet karma and sweet revenge after the cup finals I've embarrassingly lost against them. So in our final game against St Etienne, all we needed to do was get a win. And boy oh boy, Kone was not slowing down. Scoring three goals, a hat-trick to secure us a third league uh, trophy in a row. So, great start, straight end to the match highlights. Let's go straight away to the live games. So our first live game of today's episode, well, we could have a lot more live games, but it's against Bayern Munich. And to be fair, this is quite scary. Bayern Munich... And we are currently 3-2 down on aggregate. We cannot beat them at home. We've lost at home. So all we got to do is just get past two goals past them. Or just at least get one goal to make it all square. So we're coming out live. It's Bayern Munich. Last year I faced them. I lost 3-1. So I'm quite scared. Semi-finals of the Champions League. This is probably our toughest opponent so far. Hopefully the boys in blue, blue do me proud right here. We've gone through a lot lot harder situations come on paris fc let's do this fine on the attack right here and i think i try to put too much pressure as my left back is out of position he's trying to hold him back uh one two passing come on no nope. oh how are you meant to deal with this passing ah good tackle from williams and all right leon my left back he's just want to go for a run come on simon make a good run there you go simon's got pace he's past Ta tackle Murray. i can't pronounce it but i'll figure out that later Trying to cut past, trying to spot a pass. Diete! Diete, I don't give a damn I pronounce your name wrong. What you've done right here is special. Five minutes in the game. That's the best start possible. We've got an equaliser. 3-3 free, free on aggregate. I was kind of surprised on where Kone went to be fair. But who gives a crap? It's 3-3. Free, free. We're all square at Bayern's ground. And I think straight away from the kickoff, they are frustrated. Because, ah, uh, no. No. Oh! God, that was close. Get rid of it. Up in the air. Slit. That was a terrible attempt to get rid of it. But hey, for a Ethan on the ball. Trying to spot the pass and did DLT, the goal scorer, into Raphael. Plays across the corner. Lions defense. They could not mark him. 
Kone makes it 2-0, 4-3 on aggregate, and for once I can say we've took the lead against Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Corner for Bayern. Nearly half time, can we just not let them get back in this game? Up in the air, and they've got themselves another corner. Great, more corner brings more pressure to my defence, which is quite scary, because sometimes it can break. Up in the air, header blocked off the line, but... Referee points to the spot. Raphael, you absolute moron. Yeah, it's off the arms. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we just see the replay? Yeah, you put your arms in the air. What do you expect, you idiot? Oh, I might have to turn handball off soon. Oh, my God. Come on, Simon. Oh, good save from Simon. Get rid of that now and... Wait, what? Oh, he's given another penalty. Are you fucking for real? Yeah, I'm definitely turning the handball off if I'm getting this bullshit. Let's just see this again. And, oh, it's off the shoulder, you dumb son of a bitch. You dumb son of a bitch. And he's gone straight down the middle and all that is bullshit. You see what I mean about they prefer PSG? They prefer that Paris over this one? Absolute bollocks right there. It's buy and get back level. Diamond, just before half time. Come on. Come on, just keep going. Drop on top. Block shot again. It's in. 3-1, there we go, normality has returned, Paris FC, we've gone back on lead, flipping hell, straight away before the half time, we're able to get past Bayern Munich, 3-1, that's much like it, half time, they kick off from the spot, half time, oh god, I'm quite scared about this referee now, after those two penalties in a row, but either way, normality's returned, Raphael makes it 3-1. Can we just keep it up for another 45 minutes? Done. Now we're pushing for one of the assurance goals. They always say we want to get one more over the top through boards. Currently, he always does these. Oh, keeper just managed to get a save onto that. Request for the insurance goal continues. We've got a corner. We're going to play it off short. Then lay it off to Raphael, which I'm hoping to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I did. I was not. That was not the pass I was expecting to, but heck. I was going to say, Bayern's defence was falling asleep. Kone had open chance, but the keeper was somewhat on his game. But well, we've got ourselves another corner. Come on, Simon. Play it across to Kone. Now, come on. Into Raphael. The shot blocks. Williams and Abre. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Oh, I would have played the tequila song and all. The lit is literally getting marked by about three Bayern attackers. Into Williams and Ebre. Plays across to Sebastian. Into Kone, Kone, through balls it, Raphael, come on, what a one save, oh, just gone over, that was so close for the insurance goal, we desperately need, corner, and it's 90 second minute, I'm going to play it short, and be a bit of a time waster, into Jacobs, Jacobs shot goes up in the air, can we, come on Sebastian, there it is, ball time, honestly second half we did deserve another goal, but I don't care, we're into the next round of the Champions League. And bloody hell, we're in the oh, next round, sorry, the finals of the Champions League. It was a tough battle against Bayern. A little bit of favouritism from the ref on their side. But it doesn't matter. We're into the finals of the Champions League for the first time for Paris FC. Can't wait for that one. But before that live game, I'm just going to show you the league table. And you may be thinking, Jordan, why are you showing me the league title? You've already won it. Well, yes, I have. But... As you can see, it's the last game of the season. We haven't lost a game yet, and we're on 99 points. So we can do two historical things on this day. We could be the only undefeated French side in the whole entire French league, and we can join an elite number of clubs to get 100 points per season. Like clubs like Man City, Real Madrid, Barcelona. We can join them lot. As we have just got to do is just get a draw and not lose in our final home game against Stranzabor. And we're going to be making history. So, we're out here live as league champions. I expect a guard of honour. I am not getting a guard of honour. FIFA, add that for next FIFA. because Or next game, because it's not going to be called FIFA. Because I expect a guard of honour for champions like me. It feels weird how in League 2, in the French football, we are kind of struggling. We've lost against PSG, and now we could be the only undefeated side in this league, which PSG have never done. Which still, it takes it a lot better than they've ever done. So, come on boys, let's just get this win out of the way with... Transibor's got a free kick right here, 
and head it up in the air. Now, can we please not? No. Oh, crap. Twist it round. Shot. Oh, Simon saved us. And that could have been an undefeated streak up in smokes right there if it weren't for Simon. Now, they got another chance right here. And I know we don't need to lose. Oh, good tackle for Fomba. Fomba now plays it across to Kone. Kone into Raphael. Shot. 1-0. It was going to happen eventually, and we are so lethal on the counter-attack this year. No team is able to stop us. Raphael, 1-0 Paris FC. It's back to business as usual, boys. Into Simon. Simon gets tackled, but didn't go nowhere. Now, can we play it off? No, Simon's going for a run. And I can see a pass. That's not who I wanted to go to. Cross it in. Shot blocked. And there was no need for the martial arts kick right there. <laughs> But you know what? I'll freaking take it. It's 2 0, doubling our lead. Invincibles, it's getting closer, as well as that, that 100 points margin. It's getting more and more closer to our name. Corner right there. Play it across short to Kone. Kone, select, shots, blocked, and referee for a block with the hands. I'll freaking take it. Well, to be fair, it was better than last game against Bayern, which two penalties in a row. I don't want to get starred on that crap. But Kone on the spot, you know what's going to happen. Yes, he performs his magic trick. Oh, yeah, he finally gets his goal in the game. It's 3-0. We're running riot here. Now I'm determined to score a free kick in this FIFA, whether it kills me or not. All right, Raphael, please do not let me down. He let me down. Crap. Shot blocked again. Cleared it away. Referee, you're going to blow for half time? Half time. Now, I just now realised this. I've got a Champions League finals and I'm still playing my strongest team out today. So, if an injury happens, I'm boned. So, I kind of really fucked that up. But we're 3-0 up and we're invincible so far. And we're going to get past 100 points. What more can I say? It's good scenes all around. Giotai. Giotai. Oh, come on. Let's cross to Ethan. Ethan. Cross it in. It's lovely. Simon. It's Raphael. Is he onside? Oh, he is onside. Yeah, freaking take it. A little lower head. I don't know why the keeper went low unless he tried to catch it. But heck, I'll take it. It's 4-0 Paris FC. The goals just keep on coming, boys. Ethan, come on. Dribbles round. One through ball. Raphael, come on. Let's give Kone his goal. Dribbles round into Simon. Simon shot. Simon blocked again. It's 5. It's 5-0. Five Simon in the right place at the right time. Onside, bangs it past the goalkeeper. What more can I say, boys? Corner, and it's 92nd minute, or 91st minute. Just got one more minute, and off this game's all over. Cleared away. Referee going to blow full time? No. Really? Why? Come on. No. Shot blocked, and that's an open net. Yeah, they're going to get that, and that's a bit of an annoying shot, to be fair. Nothing much I can really do, to be fair. It's annoying. But, uh, yeah, it's 5-1. Kick off from the spot, full time. And that is game over. We've secured the 100 points. And we are the only undefeated side in French history. Flipping over the moon, boys. PSG, we're making history over here, boys. But we've got more important things to worry about than making history. Because we could be the second team in French football to win the Champions League. It's the Champions League finals, and that's the next game. And we've got Atletico Madrid in the Champions League finals. The capital of Spain versus capital of France. Champions League finals. There can only be one winner. And we could make history being only the second team to, in the French League to win the Champions League. Can we do it though? We're coming out here live boys. Tense, nervous. I know we've had an absolute historical making season. But can we just go a little bit further and winning the Champions League. A really good full stop right here for Paris FC if we can do this. But we just need to not buckle down under pressure. I may have said this many times. But come on you boys in blue. Come on trying to break past that defence. It's not going to go well so far. So I might have to play it back. It's into form. But form but you know what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it eventually. I know it was 90% chance of me actually scoring that. But heck, it was going to be worth it, to be fair. Oh, Black. I'm going to take... Cody stole it! Cody stole it! Oh, my God! I can't believe it! Cody makes a 1-0! Oh, Black just done a carriers in the Champions League Finals! He didn't expect Cody to be that fucking fast! It's 1-0! And 
I'm like, I'm speechless. Absolutely speechless. Coney embarrasses All Black 1 0. What a best start to the game. Swamba. Raphael. Now. Face off Sebastian, the Canadian. You know what? I see the space. He's got man on him, but he's going to go for sure. And that's a much more better save from Jan Oblak. We've got a corner, though, as the Canadian's still expecting his first goal. Simon whips it in, far near post. And the referee points to the spot. Two players were trying to get rid of the ball. Only one of you needs to get rid of it. As Simeone's going mad on the touchline. Kone is going to be putting that ball on the spot. He's getting there! Our Senegal forward, our lowest rated player, is somehow our best player as Kone makes it 2-0 in the Champions League finals. All right, come on, into Simon, into Rafael. Now, counter-attack is key as Kone, oh, tried to go for it. Plays across, Sebastian, will he get his first ever goal for Paris? A save! It's a save from All Black. Oh, today is just not your day. Up in the air it goes, Sebastian, uh, oh he's got it, oh, I'll take it, Sebastian going to play it back right now, it's going to be, oh it's half time, right I didn't really notice about half time but I'll freaking take it, what the best start possible, literally we've kept Atletico Madrid at bay, they haven't had a shot past us, but well, we've had shot after shot and they've been under pressure so many times, causing for the two goals. Can we just keep up for 45 minutes? Well, let's find out. Up in the air goes their free kick. Head it down. Conor Gallagher into Molanda. Oh, come on. Gallagher, Ramos, Karim. Karim, sure! It's a good save from Simon. That's their first chance of the game. Their best chance. And Simon was what pinpoint to save it. Up in the air. Fomba. It's across to Simon. Can we get the hat trick for this man right here? Kone. For the hat-trick save by All Black denied. Oh, come on. Into Ethan. Ethan now going for a run. 66th minute. I might have to make a substitute soon. Coney's getting tired, but he didn't want that hat-trick. But he's going to be self unselfishly. Oh. Raphael save. That's more like the All Black I hate so much. Kick. Play across to Williamson Nibre. Who's going to play off to Leon. Into Simon. Simon to Petit. Hello, familiar face. Come on, Kone for the hat trick. Kone, he gets his hat trick. If anyone didn't deserve three goals, it's this guy. He deserves it. Three goals. Kone makes it three in the Champions League finals. It's getting closer to Paris. On the run, Ethan. It's the 90th minute. No way, Atletico Madrid getting back in this. Jacobs. Now, he's going to play across to Petit. Oh, I'd love to get him a goal, to be fair. But it doesn't matter. Kone is last touch of for Paris FC as we've won the Champions League finals. Historical season right here as we're only the second club in French football to win the Champions League. It's brilliant scenes. Yes, Paris will win a Champions League. But not PSG, it's Paris FC. We've done it before PSG. Historical scenes as the boys in blues are all celebrating. We're going to be set lifting up that Champions League trophy soon. It's fantastic and I've been really proud how this side, it doesn't matter how highly rated they are, they just perform fantastically. Brilliant. Like I said, Kony's the best example. 77 rated. Our lowest rated player in that whole entire starting lineup is somehow our best player. Fantastic. And I'm happy for the boys, the Champions League. But you kind of know where this is kind of going at the end. But I'll let them enjoy their moment now. But first, let's see the top goal scorers. And Kone's got 53 goals this whole entire season. 53 goals. It's unfreaking heard of. Ugh. Diete got 24, followed up by Raphael. Elza 14, Petit with 10. And going on to the assist right here, it's Raphael with 20. Diete with 16. Simon with 16. Sebastian with 14. And Kony with 11. This squad right here is just full of surprises. Just literally only buying players from the French League. And look where it's got me. A Champions League finals. Like I said, these boys are just a bunch of Farmers League, right? Well... You're wrong right there because they produced some brilliant performance, fantastic games right here. As we compare into the season number one squad, I never thought in a chance days 
that in the fifth season I'll be winning Champions League. I'll expect it a lot longer to be honest with you when I first started this career mode. But this is going to be the sad outro. This is my last Paris FC career mode video. Well, I say last. We've got the music video goal of the seasons coming up. Hope you're going to enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed Paris FC. Put, give us a thumbs up. Comment down your player of the season. For me, there's only one person who's going to be getting it. And, and as always, I'll see you lot later.